Welcome to the MathCenter.com. Uh, we're going to look at an exam question or rather a sam or a, an example, a uh, typical question you can expect uh, in the ADMAS exam 0606 and um, it is based on the topic series. Yeah? So before we talk about the question itself, uh, let's just uh, get settled down and uh, hope everyone is doing well. Okay, hope everyone is doing well and uh, uh, please stay safe. Yeah, please stay safe. Take care of yourself. You got exams coming up in October, so make sure you look after yourself and uh, uh, be be wary of crowds and use a mask and so on. Okay, social distancing and things like that. Okay, so um, before I look at the question, uh, let me just tell you that. Uh, the MathCenter.com, we are running online revision courses, I repeat, online revision courses for IGCSE and A-Levels. So the IGCSE uh, and A-Levels, they're all, all going to start, the period is 15th of August to the 4th of October, okay? So uh, our courses will be starting on the 15th of August, right up, going up to the 4th of October, getting you ready for the exams. and. Uh, we're going to be doing ad maths, uh, maths, accounting, and business studies for IGCC. And for AS and A level, we'll be covering P1, P3, M1, S1, and S2. I repeat, for A levels and AS, we're covering P1, P3, M1, S1, and S2. Now, if we have uh, enough people, uh, we will be running for the maths as well. Okay? Now, uh, please go to our website themadcenter.com, you'll have lots of details there and you'll know how to go about signing up for these courses, okay? They are excellent courses and they're getting you all geared up for the exam, okay? Okay, uh, please share this video as much as you can, tell your friends and please follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube, right? Okay, uh, let me come back to my question. Yeah? We are looking at a typical exam question on the topic series. Yeah? IGCSE admits the subject code is 0606 and it goes like this. Uh, given the first three terms of a geometric progression, so remember the important thing, right? When you tackle an admits exam paper, when you read the question, you it must talk to you. The question must talk to you. So as you read it, you must know in which direction you are heading. Okay? So, the first three terms of a geometric progression. So the formulas must start hitting you, right? A, A, R, A, R squared, A, R to the power N minus 1, S, N, A, A, R, N minus 1, 1 minus R, S, N, A, equals A, 1 minus. Remember, the formulas must come, okay? So we have got three terms given to us of a GP, geometric progression. K minus 8, K plus 4, let me write it here. K minus 8, first term. K plus 4, second term, 3K plus 2 is the third term. Good. And they tell you that uh, K is a positive constant. That's good. Yeah. Uh, you ask to find K in this question. You ask to find K. And then you ask to find the common ratio. And then they ask you, does S infinity, that means does the sum to infinity exist for this progression? Okay, they didn't ask you to work it, they just ask you whether it exists yeah, for this progression. So let's start. The idea in this question, if you have a problem like this, you know you have to use the idea behind the common ratio. Okay, the common ratio. So the common ratio uh, in this case will be k plus 4 over k minus 8 will be equals to 3k plus 2 over k plus 4. Okay, let me say that in words, yeah. The second term over the first term will be equals to the third term over the second term. That's the idea. Okay, this is equals to the common ratio. Okay. Okay. So now, basically, we need to find k. I think it will be easy for you, right? Uh, you must be pretty confident about this, yeah. So let's cross multiply. Okay. Let's cross multiply. Okay. I have k minus eight and three k plus two. When you go to higher levels, you will see some shortcuts for this. Yeah, when you start doing more statistics, like I have done in my life, you'll find some. But let's not go there. 
let's just do it the way we expect it to do it. So cross multiply k plus 4 squared is k minus 8 times 3k plus 2. Okay. So let's expand this. I have k squared plus 8k plus 16. That will be equal to 3k squared. Let's see. Minus 24 plus 2 will be minus 22k. Minus 8 and 2 will be minus 16. Okay. No tricks. Just expanded it. Now let me check my work. k squared. I've got 8k and 16. 3k squared minus 24 and plus 2 minus 22 and I have minus 16. Looks pretty good. Okay, work confidently, yeah? So, let me write here. Uh, let's clean up the algebra, yeah? 3k squared, bring it all to this side, I'll have. Uh, okay, I'll have uh, 2k squared. And I have minus 22 and minus 8, I have <clears throat> minus 30. Minus 16, minus 16, I have minus 32 equals to 0. What have I done? <coughs> I brought everything today. Right hand side. So let me just quickly check. As you do your work, right, on the exam day, uh, make sure that you check as you go along, yeah, so that you don't make some silly, anybody can make mistakes, right? Anyone can make a mistake. So 3k squared and k squared, I have 2 squared, so good. Minus 22 and minus 8, I have minus 30. Minus 16 and minus 16, and minus 32, great. Divide by 2, I have k squared, minus uh, 15k, minus 16 equals to 0. Divide by 2 throughout. Okay. Uh, let's do some factorizing. Okay. Let's do some factorizing. I have K. I have 15 here. So it looks like I have to use 16 and 1. Because there's a minus here. Okay. And I have 1. So I have minus and plus. Okay. So I have K minus 16. K plus 1. Quickly check. K squared. Uh, minus 16. Minus 16. K plus uh, K. Great. Perfect. So my K will be. Excuse me. My k will be equals to 16. I didn't bother about k equals to minus 1. Why? Because I'm told that k is a positive constant. So I have my answer k equals to 16. Pretty easy to do. Yeah. The common ratio, well, the common ratio is not so bad because you already know the idea. It's just what? It's k plus 4 over k minus 8. That's the common ratio, r. Yeah. So... Uh, what is k? 16. What is 16 plus 4? 20. What is uh, 16 minus 8? 8. And I'll have 20 divided by 8 divided by 4. I have 5 and 2. And we are done. My common ratio is 5 over 2. Look, I do it quite fast because I'm pretty used to these things. You do it slowly and be always be, all, be very careful. Don't make silly mistakes, you know, with your uh, simplifying and so on. Because you're almost there and it's not worth it if you're going to make some silly mistakes with your, you know, addition, uh, with your division and multiplication, okay? So, now you've got your common ratio, 5 over 2, yeah? 5 over 2. So, um, we have got uh, one more bit. Does S in 20 exist for this progression? Let me write the answer. No. Why? Because my R here, my common ratio is 5 over 2. S in 20 only exists if r is between 1 and negative 1. Remember, s infinity only exists if r, the common ratio is between 1 and negative 1. Basically, we are saying that only when r is between 1 and negative 1, this progression will converge. So, does it exist? The answer is no. And make sure in your exam, write this down. Don't just say no or yes or whatever and leave it. When you say no or yes to some question, make sure that you write down why. So why? Because S infinity only exists if R is between 1 and negative 1. Okay? And we're done with this problem. I think it's a pretty good question. And uh, like I said, uh, please uh, follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, join us for the online uh, uh, revision course. You will find that you will benefit a great deal. I'm preparing people to get and a star. Basically, I'm preparing you to get a full 100% on the exam. Yeah? And I think uh, it's easily doable. And many of my students have obtained full, full paper, yeah? a good 100%. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, uh, please follow me on YouTube, like I said, and Facebook. And please get in touch with the medcenter.com uh, for information on our online revision courses. Thank you very much.